Okay guys, today I'm going to quickly show you how to change the trailers icon on the Apple TV 2 and 3 to the Plex icon. Now this works solely in conjunction with Plex Connect, so you need to have Plex Connect installed. Um, if you don't know how to, please refer back to my previous video. But um, let's jump into it. So if we look at the settings in our Plex Connect folder, we can see intercept ATV icon and this is enabled by default so that's fine we can go ahead and close that just to make sure it's always enabled if we look at the assets we can see icons and we can see that the icons um, which are going to be replacing the trailers icon in here now this process is a little bit finicky so try and keep up on your Apple TV you're going to want to go to settings general and you're going to want to reset reset all settings. Now this will reset it back to factory settings, but we can reapply um, our Plex Connect settings later. And also you're going to have to log into your accounts, etc. So you're going to reset all settings, reset all settings, and I will be back in a second once it's finished resetting. And we're back. Okay, so now that our Apple TV has reset to factory settings. We are going to go through the standard setup process, going to set the language to English, and our Wi-Fi networks. Now I'm connecting mine to Wi-Fi and I recommend you do the same, but before you do, go up to your uh, Wi-Fi modem and pull out the actual internet cord. So if it's AD cell, the AD cell cable, if it's cable, the cable itself, leave the power on so that the Wi-Fi is turned on but you want to have uh, limited to no connectivity, so you need to pull out your internet cable. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do that, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now I have pulled out the internet cable, but my Wi-Fi router is still turned on, so therefore my um, Wi-Fi is still broadcasting. So I'm going to join my um, Wi-Fi network, I'm going to put in my password, which I'm going to skip so you can't see what it is, and submit. Now it's going to say connecting, and it's going to stay here for a long time. Uh, I think it's about a minute, two minutes, and then once it uh, fails to connect to the internet, it will try and connect to the activation server, which um, will also fail. Now it will sit on the activation server for a long time as well. So I will pause the video and rejoin when I'm at that stage. Okay, cool. So as you can see on my screen, it is trying to contact the activation server and it's not going to have much luck because I don't have any, any any internet. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go back onto my computer and launch Plex Connect. Get that spun up while I'm waiting. Done. Broadcasting on 192.168.1.17. Go back to my Apple TV. It's still trying to activate. I find that if you hit the menu button, you can get out of that and go to no thanks, don't want to send anything to Apple. Now we're just going to wait for it to, to finish loading and it should load up our two icons which, is, which are computers and settings. Let's just give that a sec, there we go. Now we want to go across the settings, general, network, Wi-Fi. Click on our internet again change our DNS from automatic to manual and change our IP address to the our Plex Connect server so mine is 192.178.1.17 and done apply settings cool done and now at this stage we'll go back to the start and we can plug our internet cable back in now that our internet connection is back all of our icons have loaded up and our Plex Connect server has uh, intercepted the trailer icon. So if we scroll down, we will see the icon there has changed to Plex. But at the moment, it won't work because we haven't set up our Apple TV for Plex Connect. You can find out how to change your settings on your Apple TV for Plex Connect in one of my other videos. Link is once again on screen. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the section below.